giving the Mad Max car kind of a, a rest for a while because I had some traveling to do and uh, some of that traveling is being put on hold voluntarily because um, in the last 24 hours we've had some uh, less than favorable activity in LA so, and uh, right now I'm actually watching I'm driving Vixen the Mad Max car because uh, I've got to go do some running around in town and getting some calls on the radio and hearing all kinds of stuff. So people just uh, acting a fool for, for no good reason. We've got shops and businesses in LA County just being destroyed for no reason except I don't know, maybe somebody's TV got is broken. But uh, I'm just uh, I kind of knew some of this stuff was going to happen from the moment I saw the video with George. Uh, and uh, here it is. So I've been talking to a couple of my friends that are fortified and capable of taking care of themselves as best they can and me also and went from trying to stay home from an invisible attacker the virus to a uh, clear and present danger of some people who uh, a couple chromosomes short of a uh, pond scum decide to go out and take advantage of the situation so um, I gotta go get some stuff wrapped up um, at my shop I was over there yesterday getting prepared to go out of town for three or four days I'm gonna go to Santa Clarita Coronado and Santa Barbara and then to Arizona and I know what I'd probably go and pick up in Arizona it's not Tic Tacs. So, anyways, wasn't looking forward to making a video like this and definitely not looking forward to seeing what I'm seeing, but I don't know. I've got a feeling the people that are causing the problems right now aren't sitting around watching YouTube unless they're videoing what they're doing and the chaos and mayhem that they're producing is for their own and enjoyment uh, but watching video feeds from Australia of all places where basically the only reason I have this car is because of uh, watching the Mad Max movies when I was a kid and going to Wasteland Weekend which got cancelled because of the virus which was a good idea it's not a big deal that um, we can't go and hang out it's a big deal, I don't know, emotionally, because it's like, hey, you know, this is something we, this freedom event that we go out to and try and enjoy some spectacle of entertainment that we've provided for ourselves, by ourselves, with ourselves, and go take Mad Max cars and dress up and have fun. You know, at the expense of nothing but seeing what we can see and doing what we can do to kind of get away from the world. Well, the world is uh, slowly clamping down, and uh, I have this car that I take to the events for fun, to goof off for exhibition purposes, and now. I'm out driving it because it's the most affordable vehicle, literally, to uh, have at a time like this. And, um, you know, yeah, I get 
people taking pictures of it and putting it on Facebook and Snapchat. And, hey, why? why you got a minigun on that thing, you know? Or here's somebody in Hemeth driving around freaking Mad Max, you know? And it just so happens that the apocalypse, the fake apocalypse that we can't go to because of the coronavirus has now come to my hometown, to the neighborhoods and the places, and then it starts to kind of, when I say simmer down, this virus isn't going anywhere. Um, it's going to be a matter of, uh, we're just going to have to take what's coming and try and deal with it the best we can, using our noggin and our resources to just accept the truth that we're all collateral damage right now when it comes to a pandemic. Um, we can only fight so much of what we can't see. And now we've got people that are fighting for something that nobody can see what they're fighting for. They're literally out there just robbing and pillaging and murdering. I mean, I had four or five people call me and text me in the past... 12 hours since what I saw um, at 4 o'clock yesterday when the Highway Patrol, State Troopers, and the uh, National Guard started driving through Minnesota towns and separating the, the soldiers of chaos, because that's all it is. We got a bunch of people who want to be gangsters and thugs that are deciding, you know, hey, this is the time to uh, reap the rewards of, of their own personal war with themselves, against themselves, with no recourse but themselves, because people are traveling from out of town, out of district, to go to jump on the bandwagon of their Disneyland, which is theft and destruction, violence, chaos, and just pointless vandalism. And you know what? I can't say anything about it except back when the LA riots happened, I had an old big four-door car that I didn't really care about. I was kind of phasing it out to... Um, get a, uh, a nicer, smaller car to deal with the fuel economy. But I thought, man, if I had a way to fortify that car, put some armor on it, some metal plates, I think I could drive to LA in about two hours and maybe get there to save some people. Just literally blast in there. Nobody would know what was coming. Nobody know, knew, would know what I was about. Shock and awe. Get some people out of there throw the attention off of some of the some of the people that were getting attacked I mean granted I wouldn't have been able to save Reginald Denny from anything but I mean I wasn't going there to protect a particular person it was just to fortify a, a specific area with some type of distraction from the chaos and then here I am 28 years later 28 freaking years as of April of this year was when LA riots happened. And I have a car that I go to LA right now and try and save some people. I mean, the guy who got dragged under his own FedEx truck trying to do his job. Uh, you know, I'm not talking about these young fuckboys that are out there trying to cause problems and try and... Uh, incinerate any form of moral judgment just for the sake of causing more problems. I'm talking about some innocent people who don't know what's going on and doesn't know where to be and, and how to be. And you know, it's, it's crazy because nothing in Minnesota I would go and try and save, even if I was close enough. Um, LA County, um, 
I don't know, am I, am I actually gonna go save somebody? Am I actually gonna make a difference? I don't know. I, I really, I really do don't. I, through no known due diligence, are we gonna accomplish anything except let a bunch of people kill each other and die and, and destroy their own neighborhoods for the sake of stupidity and selfishness. I don't know, survival of the fittest.